Hello, hello. Hello, Maximo. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Heidi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello Maritza, Maricela, Elizabeth. Welcome to this class. Well, it is a pleasure to be with you once again. Today is our class number six. Yeah, today is our class number six. And I hope you finish your homework because you are going to use it. And I hope you have had a, good, a very good day. So as I always ask you, how was your day? Good, bad, so-so, excellent, fantastic, wonderful. <laughs> so sorry. ¿Cómo se dice regular, teacher? ¿Cómo so, se dice regular? So, so. so. Okay. So, so, mm -hmm. you say. So, yes, you can say it was good. It was excellent. It was perfect. It was marvelous. It was difficult. It was tiring. Tiring is like, oh, being cansado, que tuvimos mucho que hacer, right? Just for you not to say good. Right, you can have different options, right? You can have different ways for you to actually answer, right? That way. And in this case, we have all these different options. As I was mentioning, I'm going to write them here for you. When I say, uh, when I say, how was your day? That's my question every day. How was, how was your day? And you can say, it was, porque ya pasó, it was, it was good, it was excellent, it was difficult. Cuando tenemos mucho que hacer, right? It was difficult. It was busy, because you had many things to do, right? It was busy. You can say, it was Tiding, tiding, it's like, oh my God, it's so difficult. I had so many things to do, it was tiring. And in some cases you can say like, it was so-so, right? When you say like, eh, no estuvo ni bien ni mal, right? It was so-so. But when, there are some days also that you can say, it was really bad. It was really bad. Maybe something bad happened to you that day. Or you can say, it was marvelous. Marvelous, it says that it was fantastic. And then after this one, it is very common that a person is going to tell you, really? Why? Okay, and then you can continue the conversation, right? Eso es para un ambiente ya normal en el que ustedes ocupen su idioma. Cuando alguien se encuentra y le diga, hey, how was your day? It was excellent. Really? Why? Ah, because I got a promotion in the job or because I saw my friend, because I visited my family, right? You can give the reason why your day was like that. So now every single day when I ask you, how was your day? You have different options for you to answer, not to say good teacher, right? You have different options, far from good. And Here's when the conversation comes. Really, why? Ah, because of this and this. When you give the reason, you say, because I, let's say, because I visited my family. It was a fantastic day, right? Because I visited my family. And you, and for sure, después de que hayan contestado, después de que hayan dado su información, en una conversación normal, siempre es importante preguntarle a, las, a la otra persona. Y ahí decimos, what about you? What about you? And then the other person is going to answer. Okay, so son como las reglas bien básicas de una introducción en una conversación chiquita. How was your day? It was good, nice. Really? Why? And then you give the reason and then you say, what about you? Siempre el inglés es un idioma muy amable, muy polite, as you say. Siempre le preguntamos al otro. ¿Y tú? And then the other person is going to answer. So if I say, let's practice. Maximo, how was your day? Maximo, how was your day? 
my day was difficult. Really? Why? I was very busy. You were very busy doing what? Working? Working. Okay. Working a lot. Okay, so you say, y ahora usted agrega la pregunta. What about you? What about you? My day was tiring, but it was nice. And then you say, really? Why? Right? When you ask. Really? Why? Because my husband and my kid are kind of sick, so I had to take care of them. But it was a good day because I was here at home with them. Thank you for asking. You see, this is a little, a little conversation, a little interaction that you can have. Ahora ya no nos quedamos con solo el good. Ya podemos ir más allá. It was good. It was fantastic. It was excellent. And then you can continue adding things. So these are very nice things about the English language. Simple, but necessary, right? You give more and more information at the moment you share with someone else. Well, my dear students, yesterday we were talking about what? ¿De qué estuvimos hablando el día de ayer? A ver, hagamos una recapitulación. De lo, de lo, de lo que tenemos en el cuarto, de las diferentes, lo siento, no lo puedo decir en inglés, ¿verdad? Pero es, estuvimos hablando de todos los diferentes objetos que tenemos dentro de nuestra casa, si nuestra casa es small, es, es ¿cómo se llama? Pequeña. Small, small. Uh -huh. grande, es, eh, no, no me acuerdo grande, pero pequeña sí se queda big, gracias. Okay. Uh, ok. Y eso. Como aquí tiene a su traductora estrella, sí, yesterday we were talking about the parts of the house. Vamos a ver, Heidi, vamos conmigo. Yesterday, we were talking about the parts of the house. Yesterday, ¿qué más dijo? The we, park. No, we, we were talking. We were talking. About. About. The parts of the house. The part and the house. Sí. And the objects. And the objects. In every room. In every room. Ajá, ayer estuvimos hablando yes. de las partes de la casa y los objetos en cada cuarto. So you see? Thank you, teacher. That's good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let me see. Welcome to the rest. Hello, Elizabeth, Iris, Omar, Mr. Juan, Arvin. It's a pleasure to have you in class. So remember uh, our little agreements for the class. We are going to kind of review them. I have them right here. Practice your English as much as possible. Ask for help whenever you need. In the group, you see, we answer very quickly. Keep your cameras on all the time. I really appreciate to see your beautiful faces on the camera because I know that you are here. Okay, esta es la única ahorita en que nos conectamos, en que practicamos y estamos. Así que el, el hecho de vernos también nos ayuda a recordar que estamos aquí un poco socializando más allá del COVID, más allá de la pandemia, más allá de la virtualidad. But we are here, right? And we meet each other. Attend all your sessions on time. Participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude during class and collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. So thank you very much to all the cameras that I am seeing right now. Very good. I don't know yours, but I cannot see Thirsty. I cannot see Tirsa. I can see Arvin now. Thank you. I can see Susana. Very good. I cannot see Tirsa, Esmeralda, Maximo, Omar, Juan, and Maricela. So I will appreciate your cameras. Thank you, Rosario, Iris, Elizabeth, and Heidi, that are the first ones all the time to keep the camera on. That's very good. Well, we are going to go over a little bit of practice for the topic. And these are personal questions, right? We are going to go and ask and answer questions. I am going to start by asking each of you. Remember that we have do and does, and the answer is going to be yes or no, right? Later, you can give more information. The first question that we have, do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay, ask me the question. Teacher, do you live in an apartment? 
Teacher, do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. The next question. Do you have teacher? Do you yard? have a yard? Um, no, I don't have a yard. I have a small garden. The next question. Do you, do you live, live with your family? family? Yes, I do. I live with my small family of three members. <laughs> the next question. Does your city or town have a park? Okay, does your city or town have a park? Uh, yes, it does. It has many parks. Right, the next one. Does your teacher have a car? Um, no, my, my husband has a car. I don't have a car, but I think it's like kind of our car. <laughs> I don't drive, but he does. The next one. Do you, do you and your classmate speak English? Yes, we do. When I see all my other English teachers, we always speak in English. Tell me, my dear students, do you study together? Yes, I do. Uh -huh. I said, like, do you study together? It's all of you. So you say, yes, we do. Yes, we do. The next one, does your classroom have a view? Ahí donde recibe la clase. Do you have a view? Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you have a view. I have a beautiful view of the bedroom. <laughs> what view do you have there in your classroom? The, the living room. The living room. Uh, the kitchen. Yes. <laughs> the kitchen, the living room. Elizabeth, what view do you have? ¿Qué vista tiene ahí el frente de su salón de clase? The living room, the kitchen. What is it? Uh, uh, is my, my bedroom? Ah, the bedroom. Rosario, what view do you have? ¿Cuál vista tiene ahí VIP frente a usted? Kitchen. The kitchen. Mr. Maximo? In the bar. The bar. Hey, that's cool. I love the. Is it a window or what is the, the one that you have here? Excuse me? The one that you have next to you, is it a window? La que tiene la par, es una ventana o es una cortina? Uh -huh, that one. A wall. Ah, it's the wall. Wow, it looks it looks curious. That's nice. Hey, Cynthia, very good. I can see you. What view do you have in front of you? Um, I have the sofa. In front of me, you have the, the sofa. Uh -huh. the and that, that's a beautiful, the a beautiful window. view. <laughs> the windows, <Yes. laughs> very good. Let me see, uh, Mr. Juan. What view do you have in front of you? Mm, the TV, uh, the toy sons, and the windows. <laughs> the TV, the toys, and the windows. Tirsa? The living room. The living room. Susana? Um, I have TV. Uh huh. The TV. TV. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Esmeralda? The bedroom. The bedroom. Omar? Omar, what view do you have in front? Uh, I have a wall. The wall, <laughs> what a beautiful view. Marisela? Uh, the living room. The living room and Maritza? Uh, a window and the door. A window and the door, right, that's cool. Okay, so uh, inf unfortunately we don't have a beautiful window with a paradise in front, but we have a house and we have our family there passing by, just like, stay in class, stay in class, <laughs> it happens to me, right? Yeah, I have that problem because my dog loves the classes and she, she sometimes comes and she's like, 
she wants to appear on the camera she loves the camera and i'm like moving her lo que no ven los alumnos <laughs> okay so the next question that we have uh, well the school doesn't have an elevator because i mean the only elevator that i have here is when i move the window up and down and does your city or town have a subway do we have a subway here in el salvador no only the restaurants <laughs> no you don't <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only the restaurants, right? We don't have a subway. That's uh, very good. So here, um, as we mentioned yesterday, we were talking about the different parts of the house and we were talking about the objects that we have in the house. Did you have the opportunity to check the, PD the PDF that I sent you? ¿Tuvieron la oportunidad de revisar el PDF que les envié? Sí. Así que no, no me pueden Bien, decir... Bien pequeño. No pueden decir que no tienen vocabulario porque ahí hay de sobra. So, but you can, you can put it on the, on the computer or, or, or there on, or in a, in a bigger, in a bigger device, or you can zoom it in for you to see it, but it is very complete. It is really, really complete. So we were talking about this. And I also asked you to do a homework about a room and about the objects that you have in each room. Todos hicieron las tareas, sí o sí. So we are going to move a little bit into the conversation that it's going to introduce the topic that we are going to cover today. So I need you to check on the conversation to see if you have new words or new vocabulary, and then we are going to practice it. Tell me if you have a new word or something that you don't know, and we're going to cover that before we continue. I am going to read it. And if you see something new, stop and tell me, teacher, what's the meaning of that? And it says, this apartment is great. Thanks. I love it. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need, a, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there is no sofa here in the living room and there aren't any chairs. There is only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Any new word? For, for ni furniture. Furniture. Furniture are muebles in general. Furniture, furniture muebles. Furniture. Furniture, yes. Furniture. When it says, but I really need some furniture. Lots. Lots of things. I need yes. lots of things. Many. Many things. I need many things. Muchas. Any other one? Any other new word? I think the other ones are very common. Uh -huh. So if we have a understood which one, sorry? Where is kitchen? Kitchen. Cocina. Kitchen. Be careful not to say chicken, okay? Because chicken is the, it's the food, it's the animal, okay? And it happens. It happens sometime that I, I remember. Pollo? Which one? Which one, Juan? Uh, no, lo siento, lo siento. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, repollo, <laughs> re chicken. So <laughs> uh, it's cabbage. Que repollo is cabbage. Okay. <laughs> this apartment is great. You say. Listen for pronunciation. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. 
there are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There is only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Go with me. This apartment is great. This apartment is great. Thanks, I love it. Thanks, I love it. But I really need some furniture. 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 What do you need? What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. Chairs. 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 And there is no sofa here in the living room. And there is no, so there is no, no sofa, sofa in, the living room. Room. in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. And then there's only this lamp. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. So let's go shopping next weekend. Okay, good, very good. Let's see. Only the boys are going to answer. Okay, solo los chicos. Solo los chicos van a contestarme en eh, la segunda participación. Ready, boys? Vamos a ver quién puede más. Ready, boys? Yes. Ready. Yes, teacher. Ready. Yes, ready. We were born ready. Okay. You are going to start. One, two, three. The apartment is great. Ah, I only one. <laughs> <laughs> no. All the boys. <laughs> All the boys. De nuevo, de nuevo. Todos los chicos son Chris. One, two, three. The apartment is great. great. Así se hacen los chambres. Ahí no dice the apartment is great. This. This, This apartment, apartment is, is great. <coughs> no pasó nada. Ok, one, two, three, go. This, This apartment is, is great. great. What do you need? <laughs> What? <laughs> What? What? Thanks. I love it. <laughs> corte, corte, se imprime, corte. <laughs> Todos los chicos son Chris y yo voy a ser linda, ¿ok? One, two, three, ah, go. Okay. <laughs> This, This apartment, apartment is great. great. Thanks, I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. Uh, And there, there is no sofa here, here in, the the living living room. in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. So There's only this lamp. So let's so, go let's shopping, go, next go weekend. shopping next weekend. Okay, let's go. Very good. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was good. It was good. Yeah, chicas creen que lo pueden hacer mejor? Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they can do it. Okay, um, I am going to be Chris. I am going to be Chris and you are going to be Linda. Okay, todas son lindas, pero hoy se andan más lindas. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> This apartment is great. Bueno, nos vamos, a, nos vamos a organizar todo al mismo tiempo, ¿ok? <ríe> ready, girls, ready. Ya los chicos ya están, ya están felices porque ya van ganando. Ok, ladies. One, two, three. This apartment is great. Thank you. Thank you. We were practicing, we were practicing, okay? Now is the real okay. thing, it's the real thing now. <coughs> ready, girls, ready. Hey, no, no me dejen abajo, no me dejen abajo. One, two, three. <laughs> This apartment is great. <laughs> Thanks. I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, oh I need oh, lots of nice things. There are, there are some chairs in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. 
And there is no sofa here in the living room. Um, and there, there are, are and and there. There's, there's only there's 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 slam slam. Slam. So let's go shopping next week. <laughs> Fantastic job. Thank you, girls. Thank you. <laughs> A little bit of organization skills are missing, but it was good. Boys, what do you think? It was good or bad? <laughs> it was good. It was, it was excellent. Good. You see, well, that's the class that I love because you support each other, right? Because you support each other. The most important thing is that you try. El que no intenta y el que no arriesga nunca va a saber si puede o no puede. So that was the good part of this. So uh, remember pronunciation, apartment, apartment. apartment. This apartment is great. And you say, thanks, I love it. But you don't say boot, okay? You say, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There is only this lamp. So let's go shopping next week. Okay, so here in this conversation, we have a specific sentences and we have a specific uh, part of grammar. For example, here, when you say, there are some chairs in the kitchen, right? There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table, right? You have sentences with there is and there are. And in this one you have, there is no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. Si se fijan, tenemos una oración en afirmativa con there are y una negativa con there aren't. There isn't and there is no sofa, right? There isn't a table and there's no sofa here in the living room. And when you say there is only this lamp, another sentence with there is or there are. So let's go shopping next weekend. This is the topic that we are going to cover today. There is and there are. What is the meaning of this? I, I un, I unas. Okay, so that is the meaning of there is only one. There are many, okay? For example, if you have only one chair, you say there is a chair, only one. But if you have three, four, five chairs, you say there are chairs or there are some chairs. And you have the sentences like this. Right now, I need you to get your homework. Necesito que tengan su tarea a la mano porque la vamos a utilizar. Do you have it ready? Yes? Like? Yes, it's ready, the homework. La tienen ahí a la mano? Yes. Okay, yes, what, what we are going to do right now, I am going to send you to working groups. And what you are going to do in the group, you are going to read your homework for the group. Later on, you are going to work with that. But I need you right now to take the homework and you are going to read it for your friends in the group. I am going to be in the different rooms visiting and checking that you are actually doing the activity and we are going to uh, review, okay? We're going to review what you did in the homework because when we come back, we are going to use it. If you listen to other objects or you don't know how to say an object, ask, okay? Maybe one person in the group knows or maybe I am in the group and I help. Si pusieron uno que no saben cómo se dice, igual le podemos auxiliar ahí en el, en el grupo. Okay, so you say like, I don't know how to say eh, espejo. And you say like, ah, mirror, M-I-R-R-O-R, -R -R, mirror, okay? So right now we are going to go to the groups and I need you to read your homework. Vamos a leer la tarea que hicimos para todo el grupo y ahí nos vamos a ir corrigiendo si nos equivocamos en algo. Cuando volvamos vamos a usar esa tarea, okay? Así que eh, espero que todos la tengan. Let's go to the groups right now. I need you to read your homework. Uh, exactly as I did. Say, I am going to talk about the living room. In my living room, I have this, 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 and this. Okay, or in the kitchen, I have this, 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 and this. Okay, let's go to the groups right now and let's practice. When we come back, we're going to transform, okay? Let's work. We're going to be in groups of five. Let's go to the groups right now, receive the invitation, accept it, and I am going to be 
moving through the different groups and observe. Okay, thank you for joining the groups. Thank you, thank you. I am missing a few of you to join the groups. Thank you, Maritza, Esmeralda, Susana. Thank you. I have Susana. Did you receive the invitation? Esmeralda and Maritza. There you go. I am missing only Esmeralda. Esmeralda, did you receive the invitation for the group? Okay, ahorita la vuelvo a asignar. There you go. Me avisa si le sale. There you go. Okay, so now all the students are in the different rooms. They are going to be discussing about the homework that was assigned yesterday. So we are going to go and check what they are doing and how they are developing the activity. Let's go to the groups right now. Hey, bueno, voy yo. Eh, my bedroom is, is the, the bed, three pillow, the clock, the mirror, the closet, the picture, the tail, the chair, the TV, um, no sé cómo se pronuncia, hammock, hamaca. Hammock, hammock. 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 Yeah. And if you have more than one thing, remember that it's plural. For example, the case of the pillows, pictures, because you are using the plural. Continue. Okay. Only. Only. <laughs> okay. Uh, the next one. My, my living room is wide. There are two windows, a sofa, a TV, a phone, fan, and a fan. Fan, uh, ventilador. Yes, and the fan. fan. Bye. My living room has a sofa to make to make a zapatera. No, that is that is um let me remember because I I am going to remember continue and then I'm going to tell you at the end. Okay, close Reser Tocador. Choose lacto and this in Windows. So let's see. Okay, good, very good. Let me see. Continue, please. I am still looking for that. Oh, you are done. And Arvin, did you participate already? Yes, yes. Okay, so you uh, say, uh huh? Well, well uh, I repeat, uh, I choose my bedroom. Okay. Uh, she has a bed, a bedside table, I think it is. It, it, yeah, that's the uh, name. A mirror, a door, and a window. Very good. It's a shoe cabinet, imagine. What a yeah. curious name. Very good. Shoe cabinet or a shoes cabinet, that is zapatera. Oh, uh -huh. shoes. 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 shoes shoes like shoes shoes s h o e s uh -huh. shoes cabinet exactly as you listen cabinet with c cabinet con b grande cabinet shoes cabinet you see i didn't i didn't know and i learned it today good very good okay. i am going to go to the other groups and we're going to go back to the main room in a moment okay you can keep on practicing and I'm going to come back in a second, okay? Did you finish? Eh, creo que faltan dos compañeros. Esmeralda, Esmeralda. Esmeralda. Ah, okay. 
Ah, okay. Y Susana. No, 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 en Susana. Ah, ya. Ah, Susana <risa> bueno. y Fui la primera. <risa> ok, en mi bedroom. Esmeralda. Okay. In my bedroom, I have a bed and I have a two pillows in my bed. I have a, a mirror. I have a, a one windows and curtains. I have, ¿cómo se decía el, los gaveteros? Dresser. Dresser. You Rose. can say, you can say dresser or cabinets. Ah, ah. I have a dresser. Dresser, ajá. Uh -huh. And... And solo eso. Only that. Okay. When you Only say, that. for example, two pillows, you cannot say a two pillows. Porque si no dijéramos un, dos almohadas. So, ah, sí, es verdad. You say, mm -hmm. I have two pillows. Two pillows. And mm -hmm. I have a picture. Only one picture. Si es solo una foto, por ejemplo. Solo decimos, I have a picture. Porque decimos, a one picture es un, un foto. So that, those are like the little details that are very important. So let's go back to the room and we're going to work on that. Let's go, my dear students. Very good. Welcome back, welcome back. Thank you very much for all the ones who were sharing on the different groups. And important things that I have to mention before we continue. And it says, I have a one door. Si decimos, I have a one door, it's incorrect because you have one that it's un and a that is un, so it's not possible to use it. If you say, I have a three pillows, ¿Cuál es el problema ahí? A. Ha, you, don't, you don't need to use A there. Say, I have three pillows. Why? Because this is a plural form. So you don't need, you don't need to use A here. I have three pillows, right? So what are you going to do with the sentences that you uh, wrote in your little paragraphs? You have, for example, you say a sofa, a bed, a table, I'm going to have it here, and a desk. I am going to present right now the grammar and we are going to transform the paragraph into the grammar that I am going to present, okay? So what are we going to do? We are going to use the forms of there is and there are for us to transform the information that we have on our paragraph. And now we are going to say, let's see, in my living room, in my living room, and we're going to use the different objects with there is and there are. There is is for one object and there are is for plurals. There is a sofa, there are armchairs, There are pictures, okay? There are books. There are curtains. There are toys, a lot of toys in my living room. There is a TV. Right? And you are going to transform your paragraph into there is and there are. Observe the different objects that you listed and for the singulars use there is and for the plurals use there are. I am going to give you some minutes for you to write them down and transform your paragraph. Transforming el listado que tienen usando there is and there are. There is for the singulars and there are for the plurals.
And when we finish, sure. yes? Teacher. Yes, tell me. Can I say there are a sofa, a bed, a table, a desk? Okay. In this case, you can say it, but if you say there are a sofa, a table, so you are using for sure all the all the different vocabulary. But the idea is that you practice when to use it with singulars and when to use it with plurals, because in some cases we tend to confuse. And for this one, we could say there, there is a lot of furniture. There is a lot of furniture, including, and then you start listing. Ahí sí lo podríamos ocupar como usted lo recomienda. There is a lot of furniture, including a sofa, a table, a TV, a desk, a chair, etc. Okay, when you want to make it straight to the point. Ahí lo hacemos al punto. In my living room, there is a lot of furniture, including a sofa, a table, a TV, a desk, an armchair, etc. Okay, ahorita ocupémoslo individual para practicar la, la grammar, okay? Pero okay. si ya lo queremos ocupar en un párrafo, en un escrito, en una conversación, lo podemos usar como en la última frase. There is a lot of furniture, including, and then you say the list. When you finish this one, we are going to include another category. That it's the things that we don't have. Vamos a poner al menos tres cosas okay. Yes, Heidi. Disculpe, este, quiere que copiemos esto, porque yo no lo he entendido. Este, quiere que copiemos esto o que hagamos algo con esto. No, ok. ¿Tiene, no, no, no entiendo. Tiene su tarea, Heidi. Sí, ¿Dónde claro escribió? Sí. Ok, sí. so what you are going to transform is your homework. La tarea que usted tiene es la que va a transformar. Todo Colocándole... Lo que... There is, and there, there is, and there are. are. Yes. There is, es para plural? No, there is for singular. There are singular. for plural. Oh, there are is for plural. Okay. Yes. Gracias. Okay, good, good. You see, that's, that's the attitude. I really like it. I need help. I haven't understood, right? Good, great, Haiti. That's the attitude. We are going to include three things that we don't have. There isn't a hammock in my case. No tengo una hamaca. There aren't flowers. And there isn't a mirror in my living room. Okay, I have the things that I have and the things that I don't have. The red ones are the ones that I have and the green ones are the ones that I don't have. So once you are ready, we are going to check it. Si alguien ya la terminó, me avisa y vamos avanzando y lo va leyendo. Okay, go ahead. Uh, there is a bed. Where? In my living room, in my bedroom, in my bathroom. In my bedroom. Aha. Uh -huh. In my bedroom. Uh, in my bedroom. Has. There is a. Let me say, in my bedroom, there is a. In my bedroom, there is a bed. There are pillows. There, there is a clock, there is a mirror, there is a closet, there is a chair, there is a TV, there is a ham, hammock. 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 Eh, parecida a la palabra en español, la más. Hammock. Yeah, hammock. Eh, there, there are shoes, eh, there aren't flowers. There aren't flowers. Very good job, Elizabeth. You did it fantastic. Very good, very good. Mr. Arvin, go ahead. In my bedroom, there 
is a bed, there are a windows, there is a door, and there is a bedside table. Very and, good. And there is a mirror. And there is a mirror. There are windows, right? There are windows. Fantastic job, Armin. Very good. Very good job. Let's see who's next. ¿Quién más ya lo tiene listo? Yo, teacher. Go ahead. Okay. Go. In my bedroom, there are beds, there are doors, there is a fan, there is a TV, there is a small table, there are windows, and there are curtains. There are curtains. Very good job. The pronunciation, y, doors. There are doors. Doors. And okay. TV. Le digo las, las ah, otras. Yeah, the negative. Okay. In my bedroom, there isn't a mirror, there aren't pictures, and there aren't chairs. Excellent. Very good job, Mr. Luis. Thanks. Fantastic. Very good job. Fantastic. Thanks, Who, teacher. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, Arvin. Thank you, Luis. Who's next? Susana, do you have it? No. No yet. No. Alguien más que lo haya terminado? Teacher. Go ahead, Maritza. In my living room, there is a sofa. Good. There is a TV. There is a carpet. Good. There is a desk lamp. There are window. No, there is a window. Good. And the negatives? Ay, ese no lo hice. <laughs> ¿Qué es algo que no tienes? Uh, me faltó hacer eso. Okay, so. Continue and then you can come back later to tell me. Thank you. Yes. Como, como se dice, este, como se llama, eh, estas sillas como mecedoras. Oh, very, very good question. Let's investigate. Let's investigate. <laughs> it's a very good question. I am very honest when I don't really remember <laughs> one and I say like, let's investigate. I have a very good friend who knows. Tengo un amigo que sabe, se la sabe todas. Y maceta? Flower pot. Flower, uh, así es. So, so, flower, flower pot. Flower, flower pot. Flat. Yes. Pot. Flower Thank pot. Mm. And uh, the, the mecedora. Ajá. Uh -huh. Mecedora is rocking. 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 <laughs> Esa palabra, rocking. But a, rocky, a rocking chair. Rocking, porque es la acción de ir atrás, ir adelante. Ir atrás, ir adelante. Ah, no, igual o sea, que el boxeo. Ajá. Yeah. No, no es boxing. Right. La rocky. película de Rocky. Rocky. A, that, yeah, that's, that's the name. A rocking chair. Rocking chair. Ah, Sería yeah. en negativo. Eh, Aren't. Oh, it isn't. It's isn't because it's only one. Sí, so you say, okay, there, there isn't a rocking chair. A rocking chair. Thank you, teacher. Okay, very good. Let me see, Mr. Uh, Maximo, do you have your sentences? Yes, teacher. Go ahead. In my, in my kitchen, there is a stove. There is a microwave. Good. There is a lamp. There are curtains. Good. There is a dishwasher. Good. There is a TV. There is a refrigerator. A refrigerator, good. And the negatives? In my kitchen, there isn't. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, uh, a sofa, <laughs> a sofa, 
Good, uh -huh. there is an asova. There aren't flowers. Good. Only. Only that, very good job. Mm -hmm. And I need one more volunteer. Un voluntario más. Uh, did you? Yeah. Okay, oh. Heidi and then Omar. Ladies first. Okay. Okay. Heidi and then Omar. Uh, I'm a in my living room, there are sofa, there are office small, there are printer, there are TV, there are lamp. Yeah. Uh, there isn't, isn't, creo que sí se dice, isn't mirror, there isn't flower pot, and there isn't rocking chair. <laughs> there isn't a rocking chair. Okay. In the case of the sofa, eh, in this case, remember, Heidi, that there is, es para todos los singulares. In this is. case, uh -huh, is. there is. Ahí oh, tenemos okay. la oración. La oración, uh -huh. there are sofa, estaría incorrecta, sino que tendría que ser, there is there a is. sofa. Uh -huh. There is a sofa. ¿Por qué le ponemos a? a? Porque solo es uno. Or you can okay. say there is one sofa, and that's correct. And for the negatives, you say there isn't a rocking chair there isn't a rocking chair right so there you have the correction so try to analyze the objects for you to correct okay and for the plurals you say there are windows okay Ahí okay. solo ponemos el plural porque ya no le ponemos a y an porque obviamente estamos hablando de plural so, correct, Heidi. Vean las oraciones. Hay que hacerle las correcciones algunas y las tenemos ya listas. Mr. Omar, thank you. Mr. Omar. Mr. Omar Durán. Mr. Omar, se lo solicita aquí en recepción. Se perdí. Mr. Omar, se no fue. Rosario, go ahead. My living room, there are windows, there is a bed, there is a wardrobe, creo que se dice. A wardrobe, good. There oh. is a mirror, there is a door, a door. there is a lamp, uh, there is a TV. There is a hammock. A hammock. Uh, there is a sofa. Very good job. There is a sofa. So, excellent. Thank you, Rosario. You did it very well, right? This is the form that you transform the sentences into something more specific with there is and there are. And here I am presenting you the ones that you were doing. You say there is a bed in the bedroom. There is no sofa in the bedroom. Esa es otra forma para hacer la negativa. Podemos decir there is no sofa in the bedroom or there isn't a sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. Okay, and for the plurals, you have, there are some chairs in the kitchen, there are no chairs in the living room, and there aren't any chairs in the living room, right? So this is the form that we have for the singulars, is this form here, right? For the singulars and for the negatives, uh, for the plurals, sorry, is the other form here. Here you have the forms for the singulars, affirmative and negative, and the plurals, affirmative and negative. So here I have a little exercise that we are going to do together, just to check that we understood the topic. It says, I don't have a table in the bedroom. There is no table in the bedroom. If I say, I have some chairs in the kitchen, ¿Qué complemento le pondríamos a esto? There are. There are. Right? And if you have, I have some. There are some. Okay? There are some chairs in There's the kitchen. Some. I have a stove in the kitchen. 
There is. There is a, right? Uh, there is a stove in the kitchen. I don't have a refrigerator. I don't have a refrigerator. I don't. I have. There is not. There is not. Very good. There is not. There is not. Okay. There is no. There is no, right? It's not not. There is no refrigerator, right? I don't have a refrigerator. There is no refrigerator. I don't have curtains on the windows. There, there, are, are, there are no. Are no. Okay, so you say there are, let's use there aren't. There aren't curtains. You can say there are no or there aren't curtains on the windows. And I don't have any rugs on the floor. I don't have any rugs on the floor. There, there aren't. There aren't. There aren't. Any. Si te pongo la palabra there. any, es que no hay there. ninguna. No, ninguna. There aren't any, right? There aren't any rugs on the floor. La palabra any significa ninguna, right? There aren't any rugs on the floor. For example, in my living room, there aren't any fans. No tengo ventiladores. There aren't any fans. There aren't any, uh, let's see, desks. I don't have a desk in my living room. There aren't any, right? So that's the use. There are no, no hay. Seria, seria aren't y es solo uno, un desk. I don't have any rugs on my desk. Uh, if you have only one. La pregunta mm -hmm. es, Esmeralda, si es solo una. Como, uh -huh, so tendría que ser, there is. There isn't. There isn't there is any. Any. Pero mm -hmm. en este ejemplo teníamos rugs, que es alfombras. There mm -hmm. aren't Pero any. The desk. Ah, yeah, in, in the, the desk. Escritorio. Yes, mm -hmm. there isn't any desk. Mm -hmm. Right? And it's like, if I don't have any desks in plural, so you say, there, there aren't any desks. So you have the affirmative, the singular and the plural. So when you don't have any object there. Tell me one thing that you don't have in your house. There isn't any, uh, I can say that in my house, there isn't any dishwasher. No tengo lavaplatos, la máquina. There isn't any dishwasher. Teacher, lavadora, ¿cómo se dice? Ah, washing machine. Ah, washing machine. I am going to write it here. In, in my house, there isn't any washing machine. In my house, there isn't any washing machine. Only Juanita. Right? Only, only my, <laughs> only my hand, right? Only, only Juanita, hand. Juanita, pero la niña Juanita. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there isn't any washing machine. Algo que no tengan en su casa. There isn't any what? Aire acondicionado, calentador. Ah. There isn't mm -hmm. any air conditioner. We don't have. There isn't any air conditioner. In the car. <laughs> what else? In, in my house, uh, there, there isn't any car. Any Only car, right? There isn't any car. Only, Mis Patitas. Only the Dutch. The Dutch. <laughs> the Dutch Patita. <laughs> The Dutch piece. Yeah. Just cochera. There isn't any cochera. garage. Garage. There isn't there isn't a garage, right? No. In my house, uh, there are there isn't any machine exercise. Oh, exercise machine, right? There isn't any exercise machine, right? Only the Dutch. Right, solo el Dutch también. <laughs> Good. Let me see. Uh -huh. 
Uh, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Uh, donde dice, there is no. ¿Por qué no se escribe there is not? Oh, that is the form of the grammar. There is no. There is no sofa. Es una forma de grammar bien específica, por eso se las quería marcar, porque en este caso no ocupamos not, sino que esa es la, esa es la estructuración que le, que le asignan a esa forma. Pero la más común, porque esta casi no se usa, there aren't. Ajá, cuando se contracta, sí lleva la T. Ajá, it says that it's the T. But in this case, eh, you can use there aren't. La forma más común que va a encontrar en los párrafos, en los libros o cuando platica, there aren't. Pero igual se las quería mostrar porque si algún día la encuentran en algún ejercicio para que vean de qué. Sí, es que de hecho en la plataforma salió un ejercicio que me dejaba como perdida y no entendía por qué. Pero igual usé la lógica y me quedó bien. Ajá. Este, dando esa palabra, no. Por eso es que... There are no la, chairs. La, Yeah, and that's, that's a form. When you are not contracting it, there are no, but only in this specific sentence, okay? Solo en esta, en este tipo específico de oraciones cuando hablamos de los objetos de la casa. So, that's something to keep in mind. Otra pregunta. Eh, en esta palabra, en los plurales, también eh, cabe la palabra any. Any, yeah. There aren't any. Aquí tenemos un ejemplo. Aquí. Okay. There aren't en español, y no hay ningún, que ninguna cama, no puedo decir ningún, ninguna, ninguna camas. Por eso es mi pregunta. O sea, en español sería, español? no hay cama alguna, sería. Ajá, no, Ajá. Sé, aquí no hay ninguno, no hay ninguna. Yeah, pero but ningún... it, is, it is something curious, it's like there aren't any. You use it. It, the, the one that it's not really common when you say like there isn't any, but you can use it, right? There isn't any, no hay ninguno, right? Or you say there isn't a, only like that. If you use it or not, it's not going to make any change. No haría, no haría como gran diferencia el hecho de usarla o no, porque si decimos no hay tele, o oh, there isn't any TV, it's the same thing, right? No hay y no hay ninguna. Si ya no hay, ya sabemos que no hay ninguna. <laughs> so, you don't make a big change on this one. But it is also good that you know it, okay? So, my dear students, based on this, I am going to share on the group these pictures. I am going to share on the group these pictures here, and they have different questions, okay? Le voy a enviar estas fotos al grupo y tienen diferentes preguntas que las van a contestar basándose en la foto. Okay, you are going to do that on your notebook for tomorrow. I am going to send you three pictures. Son tres fotos las que le voy a enviar. Es esta, esta y esta. Okay. Ah, le, le va a mandar el grupo. Yes, that's your homework ah, okay. for tomorrow. Okay? okay, my dear students, it is all for today. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for being here. Tomorrow we are going to work also a little bit on the platform to check on the exercises, okay? Have a Thank beautiful you, night sir. and have a beautiful uh, time of rest and sleep. See you tomorrow for your next it class. Seems. Good Thank night. You Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye, friends. Bye-bye, my bye. dear students. Bye. Bye.